So I thought I'd just uh, give a little update on the um, engine housing uh, module here. I it's uh, way more complicated than I expect. I I guess I should have probably been expecting. If you look at the instructions there, there is a it is kind of does look a little like ooh, okay kind of holding together there not much glue i'm going to do some gluing now i don't i'm not going to take this back apart i'm just going to glue all the just put some of my spot glue in all of these little spots Anyway, that's uh, there. So then ultimately this is gonna be coming in here like this. And it's gonna hook up like that basically. And then and then that's gonna be actually connecting. This is our back end. So it's literally, um, we can just actually even just have a look here. It's gonna be kind of connecting in here. Just wanna make sure. I've actually tested this before. There we go. And you can actually see how my little, those little pins, that's what I remember how we mentioned on the back end, the pins have to be out the back and then that's it. So that just looks awesome. It's really starting to come together. Um, I love the various weathering and um, my paneling and uh, everything is starting to look, look great. And it, um, I did actually paint all of my uh, engines so they all went into the, the paint booth earlier tonight um, and uh, got a much darker uh, kind of sooty black um, treatment coming in there um, so I'm much happy with them. Quick update on the painting of the engines um, I did as I mentioned I think I just used uh, my same um, primer the Badger black that I used on the inside I just uh, laid some of that on a flat um, paint palette and got it really, really, really thin and then just uh, uh, touched the uh, sort of the top rim uh, on each of these. And you can see now that they all have a pretty nice finish there um, on each of the uh, edges and uh, they look kind of perfect. One of the things I did want to have a peek here too while we're here, sort of curious about my black masks here. Let's just take that off and just have a peek here what that looks like. Oh yeah, that worked out pretty good. Um, that's exactly kind of what we want. So let's just, um, let's just have a look at, uh, I think, how these turned out. I don't, um, you know, the only downside is if you're not quite done all your painting or if there's any kind of, anything more needs to be done, then you don't want to um, have to worry about that but in this case uh, I'm um, I'm effectively done the painting here so I think we can um, safely take that off so let's just have a look here do this kind of carefully all right so first one looks great I'm gonna kind of preserve those in case for any reason I did want to There, I think that's enough. I just need to get the ever so slight enough of an edge. There. Beautiful. I'm shaking the tulip already, so it's pretty ready to apply here. Um, let me just zoom back out. For those that um, if you don't know uh, what it is, it's just, uh, it's actually a kind of a fabric um, paint 
but it just works really great. It's in you know, sort of light, impervious, and it's kind of like a, a kind of a thick uh, material that really works well for these kinds of um, seam pieces. And um, it's just a it's just thick paint, really. I guess um, I've obviously seen lots of lots of other guys using it, and um, and work great. So let's just get it applied in here. And so we're just going to put a little seam that along here. Like that. And you can see how nice that really does apply. It's really quite nice. There. So it's really as simple as that. And you can see there was light showing out of that bottom, and now it's uh, not at all. So that really does do a great job. Faces back that it needs to go in kind of like this, right? It's the only way. So there's that one. So that just looks so great. Uh, I love it so much. That's uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And then these guys. I, I don't even think I'm going to... Um, I don't even think I'm gonna actually um, glue that. I mean, it just fits so nice, and they're so snug. Um, and then that way, if I, for any reason, if I ever did wanna um, remove them, remember we do have um, this version. Um, so it's a, it's another uh, extended. Notice that the arm is extended out, and so that one, these ones actually can replace out these ones if I want it to be in it this is in its landing position when they're compressed uh, we can swap this out um, and that's why another reason why not uh, really uh, I'm going to glue those in in fact uh, I believe as well that uh, the they're not glued in at the bottom either and so uh, that gives me that option to be able to not swap that in in case I do want to mount it on its flying stand but I personally I, I kind of really want it on um, really want it on the landed position. Uh, I just like the looks of this and I like the um, kind of the sleek profile as it's kind of slunked down a little bit um, rather than the higher positioned higher position when it's flying. There we go. So those just look just so great. So I'm just about to glue um, sort of the hull module here onto the cockpit. And uh, I am going to glue, I'm going to use a pretty heavy duty glue on these pins um, just to really snug that in. Remember, if I did need to remove this, um, I'll be pulling, uh, this comes apart, this is just, uh, a just a tack glue that's holding on there. And so that actually, um, I would just hold on this side like this and and it can kind of come apart and just I can even just pry a little bit if I put a little bit of a uh, exacto in there and that'll come out that way. should be there we go nice so that's all the pins nicely in place there and it just looks absolutely lovely so we've got both of them there now um, glued and ready to dry so thought I would um, <clears throat> just show a little bit of um, deckling I just got started here <clears throat> did the first uh, couple just experimenting um, a couple of the decals just to kind of lay them down and see how they they go in and they're pretty straightforward they um, work pretty nice I did one experiment um, first just using the uh, micro scale micro set and micro sol and I found that they had a pretty good shine um, and they do actually have a pretty good shine if you look the decals that come with it they're um, they're pretty shiny, uh, shinier maybe than, than sometimes you see. The black actually isn't as shiny, interestingly. But the rest of them, certainly the clear clear ones here, have quite a bit of shine. And when you lay them in, indeed, uh, 
they 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 did have quite a bit of shine, which I wasn't that fussy on. Uh, so then I um, did just a bit more experimenting and went back to my little more aggressive um, Vallejo uh, combo here with the softener and then the fix. I'll just uh, lay out a couple of these. I already have this shaked here a little bit. So this is the so the first step is the deco fix. This is sort of the what they call the prep. Um, so I'll just put that down, and I, I always just put it in a tray here. Put a couple drops in. Don't need a ton here. And then the uh, softener is what you put in after. It's kind of like the solution to solvent. And they just call it softener, the Vallejo lingo. All right, so. I've got that. I use a brush, uh, obviously, for this. And uh, the first step then is to actually put the little bit of the the prep in here. So I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do the small one here first, and it's just right in this area. And I always just lay it down. You can see it's really pretty thick stuff, and um, it just uh, kind of sits there and prepares the area. And so then I'll just grab the first deco here. straight there now I think yeah really like that really important to use as soft and as fluffy of a cotton swab as you can get okay so then we'll just go in with the softener on that and I just kind of lay it right over top of that deck one. as I say there's not a lot of carrier on these which is sort of nice. You can kind of just put it right on the decal itself. And I kind of let that sit for a little bit, just like this. Um, there. Important to first kind of drain off the fluid around it before you start kind of going over it so that it doesn't float, right? It, it, there's no fluid. It kind of sticks in place and that really is a key to being able to do that. So you can see how nice that looks um, and uh, not not too shiny. I am just going to lay just a little bit of that softener on there. And actually just give it a little bit more time there. Because I had to do an adjustment there and I added more water, I just uh, want to redo that. Um, the softener is a big part of the this filet set for being able to kind of give it that matte look really a hard pencil and then it usually will erase okay actually I just saw there and I'm just gonna try and get that just a little bit straighter as I go across something like something like that actually looks about right um, and then in fact it actually comes up like this as well so we'll just try and capture that too this one something like that yeah, so that's pretty much what it looks like there. Um, <clears throat> on the edges, it actually does kind of fade out ever so slightly, I see, so they don't quite come right against the edge uh, perfectly like that. So I'm just going to take a little bit out on each edge. And then in addition, I noticed um, there is actually just a little bit of line across all of them ever so slight. I mean, you can barely notice that just coming in along, just along the very um, kind of bottom edge here. So I'm gonna see if I can kind of duplicate that ever so subtly here. Again, not dark at all. This is barely perceptible. Yeah, just like that. So it's, it is literally barely perceptible. Um, but uh, I know it's there. And then there's another one kind of right down the middle of this guy. I'm going to try and capture that here. This one's a little trick here because I try to find the middle of that circle, which is not the easiest thing, but I think I got that pretty good. And then 
one of the things is I did get the gray in the middle of that circle, but there's actually a little bit of weathering on the um, other side there. So what I'm going to actually do there um, is actually just use a little bit of my, um, uh, just a little bit of uh, pastel. So I have, uh, if you recall, I did a little bit of pastel work already. Um, just for the moon dust on the underside of the hallway modules, the little passageways uh, bit that connect the the crew to the to the bridge or to the cockpit, and then uh, also to the engine module. And I'll just grab my a little bit of a brush here. Where I've used a little bit for the lighter grain. So what I'm going to try and do here is actually um, just put down a little. A piece of tape here first, just to kind of go along here, so I don't get any on this side of the line. Something like that. And um, I am actually going to go on the top and the bottom. I mean, this isn't strictly necessary, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm actually just trying to, it doesn't even go to the top. Uh, on this, so I'm really hoping that I can do this without um, causing any kind of like that it, it won't even, shouldn't even come close to the top here, but let's just put that in anyway. So I am kind of focusing, I'm going to focus on the weathering mostly just along the edge and uh, just a little bit up there. You know what, I'm going to, I'm going to get a new, uh, Getting a new applicator, um, that one I had used, I have a darker gray as well. Um, and uh, so I, I used that obviously the last thing on there. So um, so let's just uh, get a little bit in here. Don't need much of this at all. Um, and then I'm just gonna see what I can do here. Just, again, I'm just trying to work out from that, just in this area. And it starts darkest, obviously, closest to my line and then kind of just fades out. So I think I'm kind of pretty much getting that panel there like that. Yeah, that, uh, just looking at it, the reference, and it's pretty much, pretty much got it there. I think I might have went just a little too low there. You can also erase pastels. That's another thing to love about pastels. Yeah, really happy with that. I could say extremely subtle, but that's uh, what it's supposed to be. So I think that one's pretty good. Um, and um, so let's just take that off. And yeah, that's, that's kind of perfect, actually, exactly what I wanted there. So still just working away uh, on the weather. You can see uh, this guy um, on the sort of front right uh, looking straight on. Um, kind of got the the top parts done now. You'll notice that I'm actually added in as well uh, the little rectangle where the that's the under underside for that um, that uh, deco I was mentioning that they all have there. There we go. That's the one we're looking for. So then this guy he comes in like that. That's his sort of front and. Uh, so it's his front side as well. It's sort of shades. So let's just add our tape across there, just like I did on the other one. Like that, and I used a. I did use light on this side. You can't really tell. In fact, it still looks a little too dark. So, like I say, you can just use your applicator to lighten that slightly. There. That's there, it's a better shade. So it's just just a lighter, lighter version of what I kind of ended up getting in there. So just to really try and keep it light with this. And then it's just kind of a matter of just working out. And the nice part about these ones is that they're raised a little, so you can just kind of go to the edge and it 
just don't press down and it kind of stops there. <laughs> don't have to tape the out, outside edge. So that's pretty much perfect actually. And that's more the right shade uh, right off the bat. So I don't have to do any, don't have to kind of temper that. Hey everyone, so just I thought I'd give an update. I've been uh, kind of deckling away here and doing a bunch of um, additional uh, details just to um, to get it more and more like the uh, the original here. Or um, so lots of you can see little uh, little pieces going in here. Um, some of the extra little decals that needed to be placed in different spots. I think I might have shown just adding a a gray round circle here as I got some more high res pictures here. Uh, it turns out it is um, one of these kind of designs, the same kind of one that's um, here in, in the littler version. So that's been replaced out there. Thankfully, again, uh, on some of that weathering I had just done, uh, pastel so could easily be erased off with my, my handy dandy little eraser here, um, which I can't. I love this, the Tombow Mono Zero uh, little eraser. It just has a, it's just great. I really like it for um, obviously erasing uh, in a fine point. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's going really, really well. Um, it's starting to look uh, very authentic um, and the right kind of exact um, markings that are on the ship. I'm just working on the back of this particular pod and there is kind of a dark gray section and actually the other orange um, decal is going to go on there. So this is another one where I'm going to be um, spraying that. Uh, just as the same as um, these ones that are going to be on the top. So those will get sprayed before those decals uh, go on just to seal in um, that pastel work before I go um, uh, placing a decal on and the, the fluids from the decal will uh, run, uh, cause an issue with um, the pastels if I don't seal that in. And then this one, same thing. Um, so the areas where it needed additional decals has been done. thing that I've seen um, recently is the, that there is um, actually a fair bit of just um, in addition to it being dark inside this ring it's actually got a little bit of just extra weathering so one of the things I was looking at doing is just using a couple of my um, my AK um, weathering pencils and just uh, actually going in on those and just maybe adding just a little bit and so I'm using the, my little smoke um, the smoke pencil I'm just going to try this actually I haven't even done this so this is your, I'm just going to try this in real time here and just see what that might look like if I bring it in there just a little bit like like that I just want to see and then one of the things with these pencils uh, is that you can nicely kind of weather them too and so I have a I can just use my little guys here yeah that, that works pretty nice so that's pretty accurate to kind of how it's just got you know a little bit more I don't want to use the pastels in there this is kind of like using the pastels really um, the nice part about these though is it's like they're a little bit more permanent ish than the pastels and also if you get some water in there you can actually uh, if you just paint on these it'll kind of you can kind of run these and also they become permanent or a lot harder to remove at that point so they kind of have I, I like them if you've seen any of my other um, other videos you'd see I certainly have used them um, pretty extensively so Anyway, so I'm going to go through and probably do a bit more of that, uh, probably with all the various shades here of black that I've got, um, and uh, and do that kind of thing as well. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to um, do a little bit of the panel work uh, on the underside here um, to sort of match uh, what was done on the front ones, and just to give a little bit of that consistency. Um, it is hard to see. Uh, we don't have a ton to work from, but I do see uh, a couple of things for sure on um, several of the pictures that we've got. Um, there's definitely uh, the usual sort of half panel here. So we'll just quickly do that one up on this side here. Just grab that. And it's the same with all of these ones that just sort of uh, works its way out from the middle. Okay. That. real simple. I could actually maybe just a teensy bit darker there. Near the seam itself. There. Yeah, it looks great. Um, and then uh, there's um, what the usual looks like here. So just a little bit on this side here. So just 
grab that. I do have, I actually had uh, a little bit of green paneling done there. Uh, I'm just gonna augment that a little bit with this, uh, just a little bit of my gray as well here. Sorry, I just wanna make sure I get right on the start of that one. And so we'll just add in just a little bit of flaring over on the green. It kind of works out pretty good because those green, the ones where I've color, uh, I have the color pieces, they um, they kind of withstand. They don't accept the pastel in the same kind of way. So it interestingly does kind of work even even with that. So it kind of gives you the in one one process you kind of get the both both effects there. So we've got the little bit of the the overall. Uh, panel uh, edge and then uh, sort of the panel hatch there that's kind of overlaying it, which I kind of like that look a lot. Great, like that. So that's that guy. So that looks really, really good. And then there's ever so slightly even a second one right here. Just gonna lay that one in. That's just a really light one. So I'm gonna go back to my super light. Just ever so slight there. Just like that. So as you can see, I've uh, been very busy on the engine section with lots and lots of decals. Um, so I did a, you know, just lots of reference work um, and made a big, big decision um, around the sort of um, dotted bands on the small canisters in the engine section. Um, to add them, obviously, uh, both on the bottom, the sort of half arc, and then the full arc on the top. It's not in every picture, but certainly it is in the David Sisson uh, original version, the sort of rebuild um, that he's done, and it looks great. And uh, I think there are some pictures that show that there certainly was something there at one time. Um, anyway, I like it. Uh, and so it's, uh, I've added it in, as well as all the other um, decals that are on that model. So quick update tonight. Um, been working away, obviously, a couple things here. The big one being um, the cockpit outside and the decal. So um, kind of got all the sort of little, little ones applied here. Um, they're looking just great, uh, really loving the uh, Vallejo decal solutions on this uh, on this paint job is working just uh, great and then I've got the two blue they're really fresh you can still see they're they're just wet so I've got the decal softener still uh, doing its thing on those and there's not actually a lot of decals on the underside here just a couple um, there and that's actually that's actually it so that that part's easy guys so <clears throat> next day um and so the decals really came out really nice and i'm just uh, now as you remember i uh, kind of left a little bit of the uh, softener sort of on on a couple of them i didn't they were being a bit delicate and uh, so i didn't uh, try to press uh, working out some of the uh, you can see just a little bit of uh, more that i was mentioning actually let me just zoom in there um that you'll sometimes get <clears throat> if you laid down the softener there and you can kind of you can't see that anyway there is just a teensy bit there so what I do um, so next day here uh, just take a q-tip and uh, dip it into water so it's just nice and wet on the end and then I, I literally just uh, come in and kind of uh, just clean along the edges here like that not too much it doesn't matter if it gets on the decal at this point but mostly you're worrying about the edges and then I just take the other end and just clean like that 
very be a little bit gentle going over the decals. Don't they're you know th these aren't sealed in yet, obviously, so you don't want to be overly rough with them. They're not going to move at this point, but I mean they could be caught an edge and it didn't quite seat. Um, it's always possible you could cause damage. So you can see now that's nicely cleaned up, and then we'll just do the same thing on this guy. All oh, these guys are all done. I've already actually gone through and uh, done the similar cleanup on these ones uh, from yesterday, but uh, kind of so I did the same thing. They came out really, really nice. Uh, all of these look um, just great. All of the top. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm still zoomed in there, aren't I? All the top ones all came out, and there's just uh, no shine or anything there. They look great, and then these look really, really nice. Like you can just see, it's they're perfect. Uh, no. Just look like they've been painted on, which is what we really want. All of these uh, look pretty painted on. So, as I mentioned, um, it's time to do the final bit of gluing. So, um, just doing the last little bits, as I think I mentioned, um, last little bit of uh, panel work um, on each of the sides. This is actually the last, the last uh, work that's required here. Um, everything else is done. I've even got the uh, <clears throat> actually the engines mounted on the back of the um, the main frame there, and uh, so really just a matter of adding the landing gear and engines on this guy on the bottom. And then uh, the last couple of um, engines, the little ones that go on underneath each of the hallway modules. So um, that's the last of that. And but as you can see, I did add uh, just a little bit of additional paneling to kind of match um, again uh, the current production version. There was a little bit. Uh, there is some paneling on on both of the doors. So I did. I've done both sides and added a little bit um, of that paneling. And then as well, there's actually some of this bigger. Um, kind of um, bigger panel pieces as well, um, especially on the um, left side, I guess, facing, from, looking from the back towards the front of the vessel. Hey guys, so I'm just going to add in the last couple pieces here. Um, got the landing gear and the little engines that go in uh, for this on the, sort of under the crew module here. Awesome. So if that's sitting, it should be pretty. Yeah, that looks really great. Perfect. So here we are, um, and you can see it's, it's a little long for my workbench here. Um, you're not going to see this all here, but. I do have engines in the back here, um, and everything's here. So let's just uh, set him in here, and then actually do a couple things. One, one we're going to do um, is run our wiring in first and get that connected. So that works out, and it's right on the bottom. Okay, and then we've got, okay, it's all going to get tucked in there. I am going to just put my roof on here. Make sure that's down, and then kind of just gently let that go down 
in there. Try not to let them snap too much. The definitely lots of lots of suction on the, the magnets really worked well. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is um, tuck that wiring in as far as I can, like that. And then I'm actually going to just pick that up. Basically, that, that's the idea there. Um, so, just to, let me just um, screw into there. Lovely. So that worked great. It, it just looks so good. That <laughs> really. Out. Um, and of course we've got our little light switch here too, don't forget it's a lit model, so we've got our switch right here, and you can see the little right nicely down in there. There's Alan and Commander Koenig actually in the pilot seat here, and uh, yeah, it just looks great. <laughs> Love it. Whole thing. So that's a that's a pretty much a done done deal. I will uh, obviously put I'll seal this. Uh, I have I have decided to stick with the kind of the flat look. I anybody who follows my stuff knows I do tend to really like the, the sort of the flat um, dry look on my my spaceships and um, and this one. Like I say, I, I did actually take a look and you know a lot of the. The production stuff does look pretty flat to me-ish. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and so it's just going to use this guy. And uh, I'm just giving it a light, nice light coat just to seal in those um, decals and just some of the, the pastel work and other uh, various panel pieces there. Um, and then uh, that's it. So uh, we'll, I'll, I will take a few pictures just to wrap this up. Uh, and you'll be able to get a better better picture of the whole thing here. It's hard to fit it in on my little setup here at the desk. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it um, and that you'll um, you know like and subscribe.